red light and infrared light. Here's the deal. Everybody's asking me, what is the best source of red light? What's the best red light device? The best source of red light, as well as the other longer wavelengths of light, such as near infrared and infrared light, to benefit your mitochondria by getting it onto as much of your skin or body surface as possible in a culturally appropriate way, as well as for eye health, as well as for metabolism, et cetera, is sunlight. It's also zero cost. Sunlight contains all the wavelengths of the visible spectrum, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. When the sun is low in the sky, some of those wavelengths separate out due to something called Rayleigh scattering. When the sun is overhead, you see the sun more as white light, but it still contains all those wavelengths of the visible spectrum. And of course, at all times, the sun is also emitting infrared light, near infrared light, and UV light, which fall in the non-visible parts of the spectrum. Now, this might all sound technical, but it's really important to understand this. If you want to improve mitochondrial function, you want to improve eye health, get some sunlight exposure to your skin, maybe 15 to 30 minutes per day. Yes, it is true. The more skin it, that you expose, excuse me, the more skin that you expose to sunlight, the greater the effect on your mitochondria. However, you have to do that in a culturally acceptable way. And you do want to avoid excessive UV exposure. You can check the UV index online. That's very easy. It's free to do. You would want to avoid getting too much UV exposure and getting a sunburn. Keep in mind when the sun is low in the sky, you're still getting that longer wavelengths of light, those longer wavelengths of light, I should say. And you're going to have less UV arriving at your skin and eyes. First of all, never ever stare at any light, sunlight or otherwise, that's so bright it's painful to look at. All of this is to say that if you want so-called red light therapy, and you're wondering what the best source of red light therapy is, regardless of cost, let's say you had a trillion dollars, you could afford any red light source, the best one would still be the sun. Now, if it's very overcast where you live, or if you're looking to augment, to supplement your red light and infrared light exposure, that's where red light and infrared light devices become useful. They're red light beds, they're red light panels, People always ask me, which is the best one? You have to shop by cost. However,